Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Be true to your breath. We want true happiness in life, so we have to be true. Today we think of Shotai who passed away on this date one year ago. And one of her main characteristics was that she was really a true person. She set her mind on doing something, she did it, and she did it well. She tried to hold other people to that standard too. But it's up to us to be true in ourselves. We're going to be generous, really be generous. In other words, really give the item. Put some thought into it. With what would be a good thing to give, what you have to give, and what would be a good thing to give to others, what they need. The same with the precepts. Really think about what it means to observe the precepts and where it's going to be difficult and how you're going to overcome those difficulties. And especially when you meditate, it's easy to sit here with your eyes closed and think about all kinds of things. But that's just the image of meditation. The real meditation is when you are on top of your mind and then you see it wandering off, you bring it right back. The Buddha's image is of a cow herd during the rainy season when the rice is growing. And if the cows get into the rice, there's going to be a lot of trouble. So he does everything he can to keep them out of the rice. The same way you've got to keep your mind away from other things right now. Keep them with the breath. Because if you want some true happiness, you've got to be true in creating the causes for true happiness. So the least little thought that goes out, you pick it out, pick it out, throw it away, throw it away. Don't let it take root in your mind. If it takes root, then it's going to be a long, hard process to pull it out. When it just gets started, it's much easier. So be on the lookout. Protect what you've got. Really value what you've got in terms of your goodness. Because goodness is true to you when it gives its results. And so if you're true to goodness, then the good results will get even better. So try to develop this quality of truth. It's not just saying true things, but also being true in what you do. Be truly generous, be truly virtuous. When you develop good qualities in the mind, make sure they are true as well. As you drive yourself in this way. And it's putting pressure on yourself to do things well. But that pressure is good. It's what squeezes out your defilements. That way your mind can settle in and truly understand what Concentration is like what wisdom is like, how truly good it is when you can learn how to let go of things. This is John Lee would say, if you want to see the truth, you've got to be true. Try to keep this in mind in all the things you do.